first of all emphasize that I really want you to be patient out there because it's a long way to ride, right? A lot of times you get out there, it's like people cheering, you're on your bike, you're stoked, you know, and you're all like, it's a tour de France, you're hammering, you get around the corner, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna die, okay? As a coach, if I was gonna look at your power meter file or your heart rate file after a race, I would like it to be as flat as possible. Not like I'm dead flat, <laughs> but at a certain level, not at zero. Um, <clears throat> but what happens when there's lots of people out there is sometimes you end up like, I'm passing someone, they're passing me, I'm going fast, I'm going slow, you know, because you're like, it's quite dynamic, right? And then you end up, you know, your legs get burnt. And we talk about this thing, we call it the matchbook, okay? Everybody has a matchbook in your legs. Every time you feel the burn, you burn one of your matches, okay? Now, some of the pros up here that we saw earlier, they're kind of superhuman. They got like super-sized matchbooks, right? The rest of us, we got about, you know, six or eight good matches, and then, and then it's like, then you pay for it later, okay? So if you burn up your legs a lot on the bike by doing big sprints or surges or big increases in power, you'll really feel that later on, on the run, okay? All right, the other thing I really wanted to emphasize and talk about was how to use the aid stations on the run, okay? And you're like, oh, I'm just gonna rock up and get some stuff, and I, I don't feel like it, I'll just keep going and hit the next one, and 